I came out here to serve notice <laughs> that we all have to get fit. We want to be healthy for life. And be healthy means balance, exercise, and eating right. There are a lot of students who are going to see this footage and they're going to wonder, well, I ran a track, I ran a track. Does, when I get out of school, is it over for me? Do I need to worry about being well, well and fit? You see athletes that I've competed against or, and you, it makes you wonder, were you only trying to stay fit for the span of your career? Because you look at them now and it's like, what happened? It's not about being fit for a period of time, it's being fit for life. It's to live long. You have one life to live and you deserve every opportunity. You set goals and dreams for yourself. And in order to do that, you have to be here. So is it over? No, it's not over. You know, the goals and dreams that you have set for yourself, whether it be in track and field or in any aspect of your life, you have to make sure that your mind is right, that you've eaten something proper so that you can get out there, you can function, your brain doesn't fall asleep halfway through the day so that you can, you know, do what you want to do. Exercise is important, not just because you, you know, aspire to be an Olympic athlete, but because you aspire to live. Making healthy choices, what you eat. Now, I'm not saying that you cannot have things that are considered not the best, but do you want to eat them every day? No. You know, it's, it's watching what you eat, making conscious choices that, you know what, yeah, instead of the french fries today, I might just go with the apples. You know, and, and, and there's a reason for it. It's not just because somebody is telling you to do it because you're an athlete. Athlete has nothing to do with it. It's about being fit for life. I mean, it's a lifestyle change, it's not a diet. Diets last for a fad, a period of time. A lifestyle is something that you do for, for, for life. And you never know who's watching. And I look at my daughters and the lifestyle that I have set up, they've already you know, adopted that as their pattern where my daughter who's five now just started school, she'll go to school and say, mommy, can I have some lettuce in a bag? I'm like, okay. <laughs> but at least she's got it and she understands that when we go out, you can, and not saying you cannot go out, when we go out on your plate, it's about color. Do you have all the colors? Do you have orange? Do you have, you know, do you have something green? Do you have something yellow? Because that makes for balance. And, and that's what it's about. Lastly, uh, here's a unique angle of, in your collegiate days or just being in high school. Trying to take me uh, way back. Way back. <laughs> I mean, even think of myself, I know staying healthy helped me in the classroom. Uh, we're always talking about student achievement and raising test scores. And how does the athlete and living a good um, life of wellness, uh, how does that contribute to their classroom? Just the person living a well, a well fit life attributes to what you do in the classroom. When you left out this morning, did you eat breakfast? You know, there's a lot of people who skip breakfast. Or when they're eating, they, have, they can sit there and tell you, I had bacon, I had eggs, I had this. But that's a lot of protein. Okay, where's the carbs? Carbs are brain food. So when you're sitting in class and you're wondering why you feel like you're melting, it's because, you know, let's go back and back up and see what you actually put in your body to make sure that you can perform. Like you said, as athletes, athletes somewhat know what you're supposed to eat, you know, eating a couple of days before you compete to make sure that you have the best performance. Well, if I'm trying to live every day to get the best out of me, I need to do it every day, not just before a meet or not just before a competition. It becomes a lifestyle. That's why we say it's fit for life. Well, you know, what? I'm very excited to be here and this campus, and I'm calling it a campus, I don't know what you guys call it, but it's a campus, and it's phenomenal. I mean, it is, it's just that, I mean, it shows that the care, that there's someone who's out there and that you are willing to put in the dollars, put in the time, put in the effort to educate our kids, to help them get the best out of life for themselves. They are our future, and without them, we have no future, so if we don't start at this level to embrace them and wrap our loving arms around them and give them all the information that's out there or if they don't have it to show them where they can get these tools and these information this information then we are lost so I do commend you at Carver this is like a college for me I need to go back to high school and come here I'll wear the uniform <laughs> this is great it, it truly is great and you guys should be commended for what you have done so thus far